be craft with motion vfx and in this m tracker 3d tutorial we're going to look at one of the expansion packs now before diving into this tutorial over at motionvfx.com you have the m tracker 3d titles pack and that is going to be the m tracker 3d titles pack with the m tracker 3d titles pack there are over 50 animated title presets and those 50 presets you can preview the animations by hovering your mouse over each title the one we will actually use in this tutorial is this second title right here, The Flaking Facade. But as you can see here, 50 presets, 3D titles that you can animate inside of Final Cut using MTracker 3D. And here we are inside of Final Cut where I already have a project set up, titles tutorial, 4K, 24 frames per second, and I also have a titles pack clip. Take note that it's also 4K and 24 frames per second. It is important to make sure your project frame rate and your clips frame rate match in order for MTracker 3D to work properly. You can do some retiming, but since both of our frame rates are the same, we can proceed forward. Now this titles pack clip, it's 18 seconds long. I have just a portion of it that I've dragged down here to the timeline. And my typical workflow here is to take this clip and we wanna add some more detail to this. And one way we can do this is with a color board. So notice if I check it, uncheck it we can see some more detail right here in these crates and you can quickly make adjustments to this color board by going to the color inspector i just went to exposure and roughly somewhere around here to bring in that detail on these crates and if you've watched some of the m tracker 3d tutorials you have heard this being mentioned get some more detail in there add some contrast and then once we apply m tracker 3d we track it we can cut that contrast off should you wish to do so but again, here I do have that color board enabled. Let's head over to the effects browser, M Tracker 3D. Let's drag this onto our footage. And with this footage selected, two places to track, either here or over in the video inspector, you can track there. Let's go ahead and do that now. And this six second clip took roughly two minutes to track on my 2018 MacBook Pro. Now that our track is complete, let's go ahead and copy that track. I'm also going to disable the color board. I'm going to head over to the titles and generator sidebar, M Tracker 3D expansions. And just like we saw at the beginning of this tutorial over at motionvfx.com, here are those 50 titles. I want title two. I'm going to drag this directly above my footage. And retiming this to fit the clip. And now that we have our title where we want it, this is when we can paste the track. So heading back over to the inspector, paste the track. After a few seconds, you'll get confirmation. And something important to note here, if you do retime this title down here, it is recommended that you repaste that track again. Now it's time for us to place this title. You'll notice at the very beginning here, it disappeared. I'm gonna take in my animation in and out. I want it to show the whole time. And let's go ahead and pick a spot where we want to put this title at. This may need some adjustments. Somewhere right around here. I'm gonna hold shift to ignore the orientation and that ever so slightly changed the orientation, not much. Again, if I let off shift, you can see that the red X axis is a little bit more tilted up. Holding shift, it does ever so slightly move it. And I'm gonna put that title right there. Now this is way too big. Let's go ahead and scale that down. Head over to content scale and let's lower this. And we can always come back in here and reposition this as well. And we'll make some adjustments to this right here in a second, but I'm just gonna preview this animation. And I actually like the placement of this right where it is. If you notice over here, right where we had the edge of this E, it's on the edge of the crate. Take a note of that position, as well as this little gap over here between the F and the left side of this blue crate. That's a pretty doggone good looking track right there. It pretty much stays in the same position and we're ready to make a few adjustments to our shadows and reflection. Speaking of those, let's cut off the reflections. And then I'm also gonna come over here and click on this blue target icon to get rid of the 3D gizmo. Now it appears as if this 3D title is slightly floating above the crates. I'm gonna take the title here and I'm going to move its Y position. And let's make sure we do have the right one because we have a title and a subtitle. Let's move this down a little bit. Title position. 
Now, based on our shadow positions right now, which are not correct, this does make the text appear to sit directly on top of those crates a lot better than what it did. Let me go ahead and change that title. Change the subtitle as well. Let's adjust that subtitle position. And I actually like the position of those letters, the words, even the straightness to it, if you will. I'm gonna preview this a little bit more. And what we do have here, if I scrub this, you can see how the letters do move a little bit. I'm looking at this S over here. So I'll tell you what, right back here at the beginning, I'm going to reposition one more time. So I'm getting a little bit closer to the camera. Let's adjust our content scale. You may notice that it's getting brighter as we lower that content scale. We can fix that with our light settings right here in a moment. But again, I'm trying to get that position locked in. I like that. It's like we're flying really close to that 3D text. Let's focus on the shadows a little bit more. And again, I need to disable this 3D gizmo. But about the shadows in the footage, we don't really have any because of the overcast. We definitely don't want the shadows from this text going back in this direction. So I'm gonna come in here and adjust the light angle. And as I get this close to 90, it's going to move those shadows closer to that text. Now, I don't wanna quite put it at 90 because when we adjust the light rotation, nothing changes there. So I'm gonna lower that light angle down just a little. And now if we do adjust the light rotation, we can see some changes in our shadows. Take note down here on the crates. Let's soften the shadows up and then maybe ever so slightly give it a little bit of Gaussian blur. Previewing that. I'm happy with that look. Now some other things we could do here to make this blend even better. Let's head back to the library. I'm gonna select both of these pieces, right click, new compound clip. So now this project houses this titles tutorial clip. And again, this clip contains both the 3D title and that original footage. With that selected, I'm gonna head over to my effects browser, MLUT, drag this on. And this MLUT here is completely free. You can get this from Motion VFX. Let's check out some of the free presets. I like that frontier, the way it kind of makes the colors of this text match parts or some of these crates that we have in our scene. Those colors do resemble each other a little bit more. Let's disable that and check it. But I think this one is done. Let's have one more look at that final effect. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials for all of the amazing plugins at Motion VFX, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And again, my name is B Craft. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.